What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we got a little bit different one. We're gonna be heading out and doing a little bit of beaver trapping. I found two ponds that are absolutely loaded with beaver and called the guy, he wants them out of there. So we're gonna see what we can do, see how many we can trap out of there. Justin put in an order for some beaver tail. Uh, he wants to try cooking it like he saw and I, I'm guessing meat eater. And then uh, we'll head over to the pond, see what we're dealing with, set it, and uh, see if we can't get Justin beaver tail to try to catch, clean, and cook here. All right guys, well here's the pond right here. I can see huge beaver lodge out there. There's another bank beaver lodge right there. And then there's actually another pond over here. And it looks like there's a dynamite sluice pipe running right, right through here. I can actually see the run coming right between them rocks out under that log perfect dive set right there looks like a great spot for a 330 i'm not sure if they're actively coming th i'm sure they're traveling through here some we could even set a 330 right there but you can see their their run over up up the dam on the other side this ice hasn't isn't broken up so they might not have been be coming through here super recently but there's definitely a slide here Real good slide there. Let's take a look at this pond quick, just to see if there's any lodges in here. I think the majority of the, the activity is probably going on in that, that pond, but we'll see what we got up here. Yeah, that, that run is frozen. So I don't think they've been coming up through here recently. Some older chews there. Here's an old caster mound right here. I'm just gonna take a quick loop around the pond. I'm not sure if there's enough ice to walk on. It's been a little bit above freezing during the days here. And it looks decently deep out there, so I'm just gonna go around the edge and see if uh, what we got going on. Here's one of the lodges right here. Pretty good sized lodge. And I can see the run comes out that way. There's some beavers coming out right there. There he went, right there. Well, they're definitely in here, so <laughs> just spooked that one out. Looks like the bank den goes up that way. But in Pennsylvania, we can't set within 15 feet of a beaver dam or a lodge. So um, we can't just set right here on the edge of the lodge like you can in some states. But you can see, I can see right here that run that comes out of here and shoots straight that way. They've definitely been using that. There's also another run that goes that way, as you can see. So it looks like I can wade in here with waders. So I got four 330s and, and a couple footholds. And we'll see if we can't find a run they're using to set the footholds on and maybe throw the uh, Connor Bears out here in these runs. Here's the dam right here. And it looks like they've been doing something in here. I don't know if there's a big bank den into here or what. You can see where they've broke that ice but a uh, pretty good sized dam and it looks like they got it dammed up a little bit down there the landowner mentioned that there was some culverts that they kept plugging up and I'd imagine that's one of these right here you can see he put it in I guess to, to drain this baby but I think the beavers have been doing their handiwork trying to clog it up it looks like obviously yeah they got it about nearly clogged up on this end. And then they've started a dam down on that side, looks like. So here's the one, here's the run under the sluice pipe. And this would be an ideal location because they're used to diving under this. And you can see all the, all the chew sticks and everything. But I don't think they're growing under that much now that that big pond's frozen. You can see they got, I don't know if they're feeding right here or what, but their feed pile's gotta be right in here somewhere. I didn't find any real heavy trails out into the out into the timber to set. So, I mean, there's ice pretty much around all of it. There's no, no fresh ones broken except for over at the dam. But I got four 330s. 
I think we'll just set those. <clears throat> we got one run here. We'll set that run out of that lodge, run out of that lodge, and then maybe maybe another one of those. And maybe for the heck of it, since this is open right here, we'll just throw a caster mound somewhere where we can drown them. We'll have to figure that out, but but those runs are super heavy. That one's real heavy, muddy water by it. That one, obviously, that beaver came out, and that lodge looks big too. So let's throw the waders on, GoPro up, and uh, we'll get the traps out, see if this ice is safe enough to walk on, and uh, hopefully we catch ourselves a beaver here. Okay, guys, so I think the first one we're gonna set is gonna be this run right here. I can actually see, I think they actually have been chopping some wood on these right here. So we gotta go find ourselves a post. And uh, I think then we're just gonna set at least one 330 right here. Might even put a foothold here, but there's not a great drowning, drowning line. Got two stakes. We'll set up, set the first trap here. Okay, so take this baby and set that bad boy. Safeties are still on. Take that. Take this. That safety is off. And these will hurt. I don't even know if I could get this off of myself. We're not going to try to find out here. Safety's off. Put this bad boy. Stake number one, we're gonna have to put this little diving stick in, you guys can see because it's just under the water, but I think they'll go through it. We're gonna set that dive stick here, that way he has to, that beaver's gonna come in through here, and if he's above the water, we're gonna set that so he has to dive down and head through our trap. Now we'll just take a couple more sticks and block it off. It's probably all right as is, but we'll do it just to be safe. Okay, we'll leave that as is. We got these sticks through the stakes, but we'll wire it off to this baby just in case. All right guys, we got our last trap here. And I think what we're gonna do, is you can see there's like remnants, I don't know if muskrats are feeding in here or what, but we're basically just gonna make a a makeshift caster mound right here just for the heck of it it's too shallow for a drowning cable but if we set this 330 here there's no i can't really set that deep stuff out on that house so we're just going to put a caster mound here and if anything pops its head up it should smell the smell the caster and come in so i'm gonna hollow this out Put a little mud up there and just set our 330 right here and just as kind of a bonus set. Take some of this junk, throw it up there just to disguise our steel. Get some of our lure, stick it in there like that. And uh, all right. All right, we set what we got and we'll see what we get tomorrow. Hopefully we score something. 
I'm pretty confident in that in the first set and hopefully pick something up in the one of the other two over by that bank lodge. Definitely beavers in here. Obviously one swam out. Should be loaded. I'm sure there's multiple obviously in there. So hopefully there's some big ones and hopefully we catch them tomorrow. All right guys, well it's first check here. You can see it's dark. Been all night, all day. And then yeah, I'm, I'm here after work and we're gonna see if we got any beavers. It's pretty chilly right now, around 24 degrees. But we had those four 330s set. There's definitely a lot of beaver action in here, so let's see what we got. Oh yeah, boys. Got ourselves a beaver. Not a huge one, young beaver, but we'll take it. Sweet. Here's the first one of the year right there. Younger beaver perfect head catch looks like we're off to a good start guys let's see see how the next one's pan out here okay so this is gonna be set number two that that bank hole and feed pile and I see fur boys we got a beaver there we go another young one but perfect keg catch he was coming out of the den so sweet i know there's got to be some big ones in here because these lodges are big and they've been in here a couple years so let's go check check down by the big lodges see if we got any big boys this is going to be a baited baited run so let's see what we got here Nothing in there, trap still set. I might have to make an adjustment. Looks like it's sitting on the bottom, but. Well, traps fired, no beaver. Well, you can see it's about 17 degrees right now. And Justin requested that I save him one of these beaver tails, one of the beavers that I caught. He wants to try cooking it up. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but uh, he's got quite the fire going. You want to explain to us what we're doing here? Well, there's not too much to it. We're just basically building up the fire, gonna get it, you know. Yeah, but why are you cooking a beaver tail? Oh, cooking a beaver tail. Well, it's half I want to try beaver and half a school project of mine is cooking, so this counts. Actually, I should be five minutes <laughs> right I, I need five hours. I should have had my stopwatch on. So basically, I think legend has it that mountain men used to like eat the beaver tail when they were trapping beaver out west. And Justin got the meat eater book for Christmas, and I think that has beaver tail recipe in it because I got the same book. So we figured, what the heck, might as well try it. Some people say it's great, some people say it's not. I think it's just pretty much a hunk of fat, but we were, uh, nothing else going on today, so we figured we'd give it a try. Go get a green stick, put this sucker up over the coals, we'll see how it turns out. Washing it off. I don't think you eat the skin. No. Can't you just leave it? Just, just peel it like an orange? <laughs> yeah, good enough. I think he's just basically poking a hole in it. <laughs> We're gonna run the skewer through and fire's looking pretty good. We're gonna give her the old college try. Yeah, this is... Does mom know you got her cutting board out here? Uh, there she is. <laughs> Let's see it. That's quality. That's <laughs> at its finest. I don't know, we'll call it hot enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is gonna be good. You bring any dipping sauce? I brought some salt. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Mountain man style. She's on fire! Justin lit her on fire, but you can see the skin is starting to bubble and that's what it said. It said the skin would start to bubble and then you basically just peel the skin off. Yeah, scrape it off. I don't know. I'll try it, but 
I'm not expecting much. I'm thinking it's gonna taste like the, the fat on like a piece of steak or something without the seasoning. Adios. Oh, look who it is. Well, we got beaver tail on the fire. How long have you been cooking it? <laughs> like 10 uh, minutes. Yeah, we, we ended up just waiting the fire out. All right, we're gonna pull her off. It's not exactly what I was thinking, but. It smells charred. We're <laughs> gonna go with it. I mean, if you didn't know what that was, and like the tail part wasn't on, you'd think it was like black and fish or something. Ooh. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's gonna taste great. I think we did this wrong. <laughs> recipe's pretty easy. There is no recipe. <laughs> burn in fire. Yeah, burn in fire pretty much. What part I can't even taste like? it. I can't even taste it. <laughs> you had COVID a yeah. couple weeks ago. So you can't taste. Yeah. Well, Ranger's interested. Alright, there's one for each of us. I'll take my rubber bands out. Oh, <laughs> oh you got beaver stuck in your rubber bands now. <laughs> Saving it for later. <laughs> um, doesn't really taste like anything. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's, just, it's just like chewing on fat. <laughs> doesn't taste like, it's like chewing on fat. <laughs> it eat the whole tail. I guess if I needed it. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Oh, wait, I brought salt. Let me try a little piece of this, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting feeling. A little salt. <laughs> it's like weird. I can't even swallow it. Really? It's like, it yeah, doesn't taste like anything. Little... It doesn't taste like anything. It's, it's like a jello fat. It doesn't. <laughs> it's just a weird texture, dude. The texture on it is like... It makes me not want to swallow it, just like feeling the Yeah, that's gushies. like, it doesn't taste bad, it just tastes like nothing. No, maybe the front's better. <coughs> yeah, you're right, it doesn't taste... Nope, still doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> well, yeah. maybe you can fry stuff in it. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe you could render the fat, use the fat, render it or something, but it has like zero taste. It's just like, imagine like <laughs> coagulated blood or something. If I was starving, I'd like eat it, but it's like, yeah, yeah. There you go. Ah, oh, he likes it. Well, that was the end of that. I give the beaver tail about a one on a scale of one to 10. I think next time we might try barbecuing it, throwing a, a thigh or two in the crock pot, throwing some barbecue sauce on it. But we got a lot more beaver trapping. I got a lot of ponds lined up. I gotta go reset that pond. There's still a bunch more in there, but we were just hit with some really bitter cold temperatures. So I was waiting for the next layer of ice to go. But did wanna say, we sent out hats to all the winners from the rifle season videos. A couple people got back to me. One of the winners from Kentucky was from Kentucky and he sent me a picture of his son wearing the hat. I thought you guys might get a kick out of it. So all that's taken care of. We got some predator hunting going on this weekend. I'm going to keep running traps as the season progresses here. And uh, let me know if you guys like this video. We'll try to do some more like it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.